Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Ash Wednesday service here at the church. Thanks for taking the time to come back and be a part of the service. Um, back in Old Testament times, it was very common during seasons of repentance when people uh, would go through those times of remembering their sin before God. They would uh, put ashes on themselves, and it was a representation, a reminder that we are from dust, and to dust we return. And so um, on this Ash Wednesday, we're reminded of our humanness, we're reminded that we are um, not strong without God's help to give us the strength to grow and to do the things he has called us to do and to be. And so this launches us into this 40 days of Lent, uh, 46 days technically counting Sundays, uh, of, of the season of Lent leading to Easter where we remember Christ's sacrifice. We remember what he did for us and, and what he did on the cross. And as we, some of us may be fasting from some things as we participate in that fasting, when we have those cravings or uh, when we have those uh, times when we're reflecting and it feels a little uncomfortable, it reminds us that it's time to pray. It reminds us that Christ uh, chose to be uncomfortable for us, that ch Christ chose to give his life for us, and we remember his sacrifice for us. So this, this is a solemn uh, season. It's a solemn service that reminds us of our sin and that we can take that sin before God and be forgiven in Christ. And so with that, I invite you to enter into this time of worship and reflection. you join me in the call to worship and Lenten confession is printed in the bulletin or displayed on the screen. Please stand. We gather here tonight in an act of reverent worship and repentance. We confess our need for God to cleanse us, renew us, and make us steadfast in our faith. The power of God provides for our need for insight and refreshment. We come before the Lord, laying our hearts bare before him, seeking forgiveness and confessing praise. My life has times of joy and strength. I need to be thankful and rejoice for it. My life has times of hurt and frustration. I need to be able to bring those feelings honestly before God. My life has times when I am lonely and lost, times when I wonder if others care. 
I need to be able to admit those feelings and face my own lack of response to others. My life has times of choosing wrong, not just by ignorance or accident, but also by rationalization and stubborn intent. I need to be able to come to my senses and return and be forgiven by Jesus Christ, who loves me. You can be seated. During this moment of silence, I invite you to take some time, just a few minutes, to remember and reflect on your life, or reflect on the last a few months, if you will, and um, bring your sins before God, confessing those shortcomings and repenting of them. Uh, when you're ready, you can come forward and receive uh, the ashes on your hand or on your forehead. I'll come down and just uh, be sitting here in front, and then let's just take these few moments of silence. Gracious and loving God, we confess that there are times we fall very short of your glory, of your will for our lives. We choose sin when we should choose righteousness. We fall short when we don't live to reflect your glory. We ask, Lord, that you would forgive us, that you would remind us that we are human beings who need to draw upon your strength to live out our Christian lives. We ask, Lord, that you would forgive us, and we repent of these sins in Jesus' name. Amen. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent. Repent and believe the gospel. 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 
Let's stand together and sing What Wondrous Love Is This, hymn number 314. We're going to sing all these verses together. For God does not deal with us according to our sins, but according to his great love. Be at peace with yourselves and with others. For what God grants to us in the open arms of love is available to us in our acceptance of self and one another. Trust in God's forgiveness through Christ and remember the words of John who wrote, If we confess our sins... 
He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Go in peace. Let us remember our commitments made here this evening to dig deeper into our faith and walk closer with the one who gave his all to redeem us, forgive us, and lead us to himself. Amen. Thank you.